motion. Here's my tape during the day, afternoon. Of course, the afternoon segment for Sunday. Being lazy. Come on and take a break. I'm having a nice little time here. A little outdoor. A little quiet time in my little outdoor perfect dojo for myself here. So that, so that quiet quietness. That's beautiful. But last. This is a Calm state for me to be in. Make one of these. I don't like it. Here's a little uh, fun, fun tip of owner thing you can do. The thing I do with my playlist. I first started like, all right, you know, I look at my playlist. All right, what song I really want to hear the most? All right, let's see if it comes out and so on. So, uh, and I took it one up and I, I said, all right, I know which one I want to play. And I hit shuffle and I try to concentrate it to come out. little excessive. If you live here, you would know what I mean. Uh, saving the rest of the silence before. Fuck, fuck, you know, I can't, I don't have time to do this, but the, with the uh, fucking sound and the fucking angle and the light and I'll try my mental. I'm gonna will it to stop instead of getting mad. Whoa, I never did that before. I did I think it's a coincidence? All right, too crazy. That's enough. Oh, one more thing and that's the same way when I let my shit get sloppy with uh, like on my desk in the garage where I do a lot of the reading and writing now and, and book work in general uh, if that is messy and, and shit like it's production is poor put it that way so always try to not leave the room without it being too, too it messy or the or at least in satisfactory condition. When I come back, there's a good logic here. Because when I come back, usually something's happened in the world <laughs> or whatever and pisses me off or just the strain, you know, just uh, is, is what it is already and you don't want to come back into a punch in the face by your own laziness. So, uh, I try to just a little thing I do and it makes a difference. A lot of times I'll come in, everything's, or at least my shit is neat and clean. And for I've been, much as I, you know, I'm taking care of that, and it's just it's a good little waving of calm for me. It's just leaving as I speak. Okay, today is Sunday night. Hello. Fellow YouTubians, 
Today is Sunday night and I taped some stuff during the day, which you saw already at this point. Watch this far. Basically a lazy day for me, a lazy couple of days after Thursday, Friday, I was sober and tired, just couldn't work straight. Um, anything I was working on was like too much. Uh, I just was overloaded, didn't do anything, but so I went back to the gym, that was good. Um, uh, feel that good soreness, I like that. Uh, get back on track with the gym this week. So that, that gives me self-worth. I have self-worth because I went back to the gym. So every day I work out again, uh, or don't miss because you can't work out seven days a week, but you know, I have my workout that I do. And I'm just, this is, it's like clockwork, it's funny, every year, this time of year I get back into it. Some years, I later in the year, and some years I stop earlier, this time I'm gonna keep it going now. Because I'm getting older, you know, and my birthday's coming, and fuck, I don't care about that, it doesn't matter, I still feel better than I did when I was even 20s, believe it or not, you know. For all the um, anguish I have to process and deal with, though, I am, uh, I know I'm, I very feel blessed in a way that I have uh, this how do I say it? way I'm going about things for me. Fuck it. Um, Sundays are a trip, you know. I was on a phone with my friend uh, for a long, long phone call. A really good friend, so in 30 years, Troy. That was great, talking about, uh, you know, old white belt memories and stuff. I had a picture of, um, and uh, this is a picture from 1991 uh, when I was a white belt. Troy was a yellow belt. We went to the same school. What else? Get the picture. Yep, that's cool for orange belt. I was like four months there. So we were talking for a while, it's cool. You know, it's so wild to be able to talk with somebody who still has the same memories and with the same show, the same teacher, same all of that, all the way back in 1991. Uh, he's got his school, we just opened up a school, we combatives. I uh, just, I didn't, you know, this whole thing of laying around, resting, not doing much. It, this is the after product of it. I don't like it. You know, it's like I feel subdued. I feel blah. I feel uh, weighted down. I feel lazy. I feel uh, like I'm, I'm getting, I'm earning myself an ass kicking or something because uh, I, I'm, I'm just not getting after it in a sense because, you know, no, you know, yes, if I had a nice girlfriend or something, I would like to think I could, I could temper it, you know, uh, I can balance it the right way, you know, because a person has to have something other in his life, you know. Uh, and my, you know, imaginary girlfriend, I was, uh, you know, not working on the book, I was, Looking at it, getting this and stuff ready for it, so I can resume. I'm gonna resume on it tomorrow, Tuesday. No, no, tomorrow, definitely by tomorrow, and full work back on it by Tuesday. But I saw one one little wrote thing I had wrote, and uh, she said, "My, I, I had wrote one year. Um, I wrote myself my own birthday card. I wrote myself a birthday card." I thought that was funny. This was something uh, I had another major discovery. Oh, how's this? What is your definition of success? Your definition of success is someone says, oh, 
oh, it means money or making a lot of, of this or that. He has this for a definition of success. Success is the progressive realization of a worthy idea. Progressive realization of a worthwhile, progressive realization of a worthy idea. Nothing can resist if nothing can resist a will uh, will a bet stake its uh, very existence on the fulfillment of itself. That's a good one. I just read that yesterday. I can't remember it. Uh, what else I remember? Uh, well, you are what you think. You know, we all know that. I'd like to have some music in the background instead of hearing my fucking, my voice. Uh, yeah. But I'm just like getting this subdued. You see how lazy I'm like, you know, sliding here. Just like just moving like this with the iPod, sitting on my ass, you know, fucking not standing up. Stephen King. See this, see it. Great. Uh, I guess that's all in all, it's a pretty good way, you know, for a Sunday to go into a Monday. You know, I'm not fucking like too pent up uh, over anything. Nothing really horrible has happened or anything. Uh, just the regular fucking bullshit. Uh, but I am very much glad that I straightened the shit out with my gym and I'm back to lifting weights very much. Oh, um, when I found two places to do open mics this week other than QXTs, uh, different days. One is close here in North Arlington, another one in uh, Montclair, and uh, I think one of them you like, can't curse so much at or something, but I think the other one, I think anything goes, but it should be a good, it looks good, like they've been having it for a while, especially the one in Montclair. This is a new coffee place, but I'm gonna go to both of them if it all works out, and I don't see why it would not. Uh, and then I found a really cool place in the city I like to hit before we go to called the New Yorkin, New Yorkin, New Yorkin, New Yorkin, New Yorkin, New Yorkin fucking cafe or something. It's a poet cafe thing like that. It's like a big, you can get into money, like finals and stuff. From you. Uh, what else? One of my paintings. Yeah. Fairly decent sleep, uh, nightmare free lately. Uh, that's been good. Uh, I haven't had any cool, funny, weird, wild dreams right now. Maybe that one where I was holding my head. Uh, 
uh, talking to myself, I was holding my head, they were arguing with each other, oh my god. Or the, the other one, um, I was riding a big wheel, right, in my dream, I was riding a big wheel, and down Pony Ave, I mean, and, and someone laughed at me in a corner, and I screamed in my dream, I went like, ah! Like, like a high-pitched girl scream, like, ah! I screamed. And on, the, on my big wheel, and then and then uh, next thing I'm throwing rocks uh, and like a bricks, rocks, big rocks that were at their at them with their heads. I hit one of them in the head, and they fell and they were bleeding. Um, and then I went over and uh, and I was laughing in the dream in your face. Uh, like clear. Ah! Boom, and then. Like I'm trying to like plot it like a Oliver Stone movie or something. Like the one scene was me in the big wheel, and then it was like them laughing, me screaming, ah, and then the next thing was me throwing bricks and rocks and brick, like a combination of brick and rocks. The dreams are weird. Uh, and then I hit one of them, and they're on the ground like crying. And the next thing I was, I was over there like, laughing, ah, and like their face kind of. And then and then I hit, here's the funny part of the dream, right? And then, uh, and then as I left, I was driving away, back at my big foot, and looking back, I was the size of like Paul Bunyan. And then the other one, I don't know if I put this one, it's another one I remember, because I wrote it down. It was one of the most recent ones. I was in a race. I was in my dream, I was going in a race, like a marathon, and there's like all the people before it. And at first I, was, I remember it was normal, and then I remember looking after a while, and some of the people were not people. They were kind of dressed with like those shoes and everything, but they weren't people. And they had faces like of an alien, or a demon, or a, just some bizarre creature, like an alien like from Men in Black or something. And they were mixed in there, like running, and I remember, fuck, this is weird, you know? Mixed with regular people, and, and then I remember it, when it said go, you know, and they had the gun, go. Well, when the gun went off, it wasn't a poof. You know, one gun, it was a uh, M60. It was like, like that. It was like, ah, and then everyone ran. And I remember running, and I don't know, people were running like, into me, and then, uh, I don't know, they, like somebody being rude or something in front of me and saying something, and then I, I remember throwing them down in front of me, like to the side, like the monsters and the, and the regular people. I was throwing them down um, and getting mad when I was doing it. And then I took these big leaping steps as I was running in the race. I really wanted to win it. And, at, and then after I threw them down and, and like stepped on them and over them or whatever, I started taking my strides and I was like taking these big strides like across the country, like each stride was like a stake. <laughs> and I went across the country like with these state long legs. Uh, I think dreams are wild, you can remember. Like not the, you know, like really bad ones, but um, even the scary ones sometimes are, are and then what, I only had one scary one actually, like a Halloween scary one. I actually had one like that. But I wanna get the whole dream section books. I found more, cause I, I wrote, I kept track of them when I was young too. Like in my 91, uh, Journal. Uh, I don't think I have it. No, it's upstairs, right? Yeah, it's not even here. Oh, no, I'm not seeing. I'm not supposed to. See, I safeguarded against myself. I purposely did not, do not have any of my current writing stuff with me. See? You don't see that monstrosity of fucking binders and cases and stuff I have? So I have it here. To work on nothing so i have like leader reading book uh you know i had this photo up thing out before uh and that's it so i can't even work on it and pull that stuff out like i wanted to i'd be cool i could have pulled out the dream thing that i found before but i can't do it um and i found these too oh, look at this and these have boots made it too all right so not fucking bowling this was uh at my school, I had a talking thing. I did. I charged uh, fifteen dollars, I think, for people, and I had tickets made. And I came up and I talked on my little homemade stage for two and a half hours. Oh, uh, and I, that was my school, though. You know, I was paying half the rent there.
So here's another one of my. So these two things I had were from that school in 2001. This one's from me in 2001. That was a great day. There are my uh, and then I made this back when it was Kinko's. That door, $10. It was fun though. You know, I did it. But it still remains. Sunday night, I guess I have to be happy because nothing, like I said, nothing horrible happened. I did check off the major things I wanted to do, especially for getting through this weekend and getting back on track at the gym was the main one. And to not work on anything and get away from it as hard as it was and as shitty as it makes me feel, I did get that accomplished too. I'm still kind of bored right now and stuff. But uh, just like I said, I'll upload this, and then I will just relaxing for the night. Um, I gotta do a journal entry, my old, my written one. Um, I'm having, yeah, I'm having fun to, today. I'm in like a kind of good mood. I'm enjoying this. It doesn't feel like work or task or anything. But I highly, I, it's the word, I, uh, Oh, I had, I had a little war thing with a squirrel in here yesterday. I'll pull that tomorrow. I have a thing with squirrel stories in the industry. I had to kick one once. Uh, for the people, they saw it, but it's just my great squirrel story. to like the the written one so by just the, again like the, the follow through the content doesn't matter what matters is you have the idea and you act on the idea and you pull the trigger and you execute and you don't worry about the act outcome you let the chips fall where they may you know that is kind of what I'm prescribing <laughs> uh, So it's a safety in numbers like that way, in the black and white, like either one, it's like, and there I see the path as, you know, follow that, you're standing in the middle of your own anchor of diamonds. All right, so, um, okay, spirits, okay. weird process, you know, I've watched some of my other videos uh, that I did like this, it's only going to the second week and uh, it'll start getting interesting. But again, finally ending it, ending it, ending it by punching the little ticket things like the gym, getting that back on track like I wanted to this week and going down there and executing and getting in there and working out and getting back and now I can't wait to work out tomorrow. Uh, and and then also following through with the not working and on the stuff and the book and the working and the constant pulling out of that and just trying to detach and have fun, but that's where I have trouble. Because all I know how to do is really go dancing. And I didn't do it either well. You know, things will happen. People pop up, things will change, you know. And, and the words of immortal Harry, uh, it's all you can do. All the thing you can do is, only thing you can do is suck it up, 
keep sucking it up until you get a break, catch a break, you know. And I guess that, that works with uh, relationships too, you know, not reading anything tonight. By doing those things, I guess my stress level is down, I guess, for this time of the night and uh, I'm kind of early and I'm not that wound up or angry or nothing. Again, I don't, I don't like the feeling of like too being pla placid or too placated. I don't really like that because that's just like waiting around. I feel like a piece of fruit or something. Um, but it's necessary in order to get control, control because when they overwork and they get too much out of control. So my sleeping habits, I've got to get more disciplined with and that's on for tonight too. Eating, I ate much better and healthier and cleaner today. That's good. That's also why I'm thinking better, hey, feeling hey, better. Welcome back um, to the amazing speech here on Austin. Today? Yeah, maybe I took a break, you know, had a nice phone call, talk with my, one of my friends, just trying to get comfortable in my skin, you know, do what I have to do. Uh, I'd be careful I don't let too much spill on this damn fucking tape. All right, well, I think that's good for you know, my, my fat face. <laughs>